We did the first uh, Mako robotic total knee replacement last week. How it works is, is in two stages. It's a sophisticated surgical planning tool. We take a CT scan of the patient's knee before the operation and then during the operation take live measurements of the patient's bones which are then mapped to the CT image to create a virtual model of the patient's specific anatomy. And we can then plan the exact implant position based on that pre precise anatomy to give us the best possible position for that patient. The second part is the robotic arm, which then allows the surgeon to execute the plan and the bone cuts exactly according to what, what we've planned uh, to the greatest possible accuracy to get the components in the right position. At the same time, the robot prevents inadvertent damage to any of the surrounding soft tissues which we think will give less post-operative pain and all of that together should give us a better functioning knee replacement, quicker recovery and better long-term outcomes. And we think it will be cost effective for two reasons. First of all, patients should have less pain, quicker recovery, a shorter hospital stay uh, and, and, and better early outcomes and then thinking longer term if we do joint replacements more accurately and in a better position it's intuitive that those joint replacements will last longer and so the requirement for redo surgery down the line should also be reduced. The plan at the moment is to introduce this new technology um, responsibly. So there's a small group of surgeons initially carrying out robotic procedures and the plan is to do around 300 partial and total knee replacements in the first year. Assuming everything is as good as we hope it will be, the plan will be to extend the robotic program to do a greater proportion of procedures going forward. Um, with a long-term view of the Golden Jubilee becoming a reference centre for robotic surgery to train other surgeons in robotic surgical techniques. Privileged to have been offered the opportunity. Um, so yes, and if it's progress and it's going to um, cut down on recovery times. It means that people can get back to work and, and things like that quicker. So yeah, yes, quite excited. Just to doing things that I haven't been able to do for, for a while. I've still been able to do things, but the way that you do them has to change because of, of, the, because of your arthritis, because of the condition. So just to, to get back to maybe some semblance of normality um, and not have to have a stick with me if I'm standing in a queue or um, be able to walk for more than 15, 20 minutes before it's, it's uncomfortable. 